Hey everybody, in this video of Proof of Make, we take a look at Known Origin. Known Origin is a platform to buy and sell artwork on the blockchain. It works by an artist uploading their work, creating a certain amount of limited editions of that work. So it's really good for determining uh, how limited an edition something is, or if you're going to make a print, how, how many prints there ever can be. So it's an interesting platform, and that's immutably stored on the blockchain. It's an interesting concept for artists. We're going to take a look at how known origin works. And I mean, really, what it is, is kind of just in the name. You know the origin of the work. You know how many editions there are of it. It's, it's kind of early, so we're going to take a look at some of the things that, are, that could maybe be improved. We're going to take a look with our CTO, Ty, and see what he thinks. So I'm sitting down with our CTO time. We're taking a look at Known Origin. Known, uh, it's origin. known origin. It's a very simple platform where you click, um, you know, you go to the knownorigin.io, click Launch Gallery. You see artwork. The artwork is here. So here's a bunch of artwork. Uh, I have like art. that is that is some artwork. It is artwork. All right. So I can actually look on my account, and I have these two pieces of art. So I actually got this one for free, but I own this. And I can get a high resolution version of it, so I can download that. So, so I click that's what you pay for. Download you're high res. Paying for the high res version. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Um, and I just I just sign it to say that I you know I verify what not I already bought it, and then it will then after a, a little bit allow me to download it in high res. So then I click download high res, and now I have a really 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 wow. really high res. Yeah. I mean this 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 artist put up that high res right, so I could. Put this on my wall, it would print out very clearly. Yeah, the printed, yeah. yeah. Does this have like a print service where I can get these things printed? That would be nice. Um, right? I, I, I didn't see it on the platform, but uh, I, would, I thought the same thing. That, that would, would be cool. really cool. Yeah. I, I would pay, I would pay for that. I yeah, think that would get be print, great. get shipped. Yeah. Like, there's another, there's a competitor there's known, I forget the name of it, but there's another one very similar to this, and uh, they're not doing it either. So I think yeah. that, that could be a differentiator between them. So I have this one. Um, Beer. Yeah, or Beer. three. Three, Backwards three, e -E. yeah, FR, yeah, who knows? But yeah, whatever this says, um, it there's a certain number of these, and I can do the same thing here. So I paid 0 0.06 Ethereum okay. uh, for this one. I like this. Right. So, so yeah, so little bugs here, like I don't have to, so it kind of showed me to, right, yeah, and then it yeah, went yeah, away. Yeah, yeah. I noticed a few little janky things like that, like sometimes this thing can move around. I really wanted to look at this picture of Obama Superman once, um, and um, occasionally they, they go and they come back. So there's a hundred of these available. So there will only ever be a hundred people who actually own it. Now, of course, I can just take a screen capture of this, you know, and whatnot. But if I want the high resolution version, right. just like with Shutterstock, Shutterstock, or oh, right, one yeah, of those, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. So they don't watermark it, but you know, if I really want the high resolution, it's artwork, right? Uh, if I want to really own it, um, that so they have some that are one. So like you can click up here and click like high or low. So it's called known origin. Is it some sort of stamp or something you get that says this is from this artist? Yes. So here? let's 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 find something that's really expensive. So one thing is like there's there, there are a few little things like which one's high low like why are these two here? So here's one of the more expensive things. So okay. there's only one available of this All right. and one available of this. Which one of these um, piques your interest of the top? These top ones. The top one. All right. Um, the person on the bike. Person on the bike. Yeah. All right. So let's see. So this photo is 2.9F, which is $623 right now. Mm -hmm. uh, I could buy this, click buy now. All right. You click, you agree to the terms of service and you click confirm. So if we want, if we wanted to buy this, that's what we would go through uh, with and uh, you'd wait for a confirmation here. The way it works is if we look at some of my art, so if I click in, it would be nice, for example, I think, like you just mentioned. Okay, so yeah, so I can look at the owner, mm -hmm. who the owner, that's me. Right. So I can just look at my address, okay, that, that's great. But what I would really like to see is my transaction. Now, I do have the transaction. You can go through here, and you can you know, look at known origin. You can see that two hours ago I bought this, and uh, you can look at the, this. So I got uh, ERC721. Right, so, 721, so it has its own ID. On Bingo. Chain, right. Yeah, so I have an ID of owning that, and that can be verified. So I guess yeah, so I can easily verify it, but I would like to see that transaction here on the site right? where I'm looking at it. So I can easily tell someone out. So if a year from now, after I've done a lot of stuff or even maybe like sitting, I could even, you know, I could do whatever. I can still prove the transaction. Like I might have a thousand transactions and right. Like, okay. Let me go back. Oh, what, what was it? 385 days ago. Was it 426 days ago? Right. And filtered through. And then let's say I bought a bunch of art, which one was which? So I would like to be able to kind of log in and see exactly what transaction. I think that would be a major help. 
Yeah, so I'm wondering, so the images themselves are being housed by the website. Is there any way that the images actually exist on the 721? Did they encode like the image bytecode or something somewhere? So if you go to the front page, and I think they should make this more kind of front and center even when you're like making purchases right, or like right. when I'm looking at my account to get any information, but they're stored using IPFS. Okay. So when I look at the site, so you, you don't have to really worry about the site going down per se, right. but, but it would be nice to have links to that kind of stuff. Because I only have this. It's yeah, the ownership really, qualities of the thing. Yeah, the ownership quality. It would be a lot. It would be nice to have a lot of information. So, but I, I love the concept. Yeah, and I, um, it's a great way to discover, to discover new artists, and it's a great way for uh, current artists to monetize their work. I, I think it's a it's a really great use case for blockchain. The seven twenty ones are being put to good use here for sure. So uh, that's a look at known origin. We're excited to see where it goes from here. It's very early, but.